Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Grace the Ace. Today, um, we are, I'm excited for today because I got a new palette. And, uh, basically, what we're, what I'm doing is I'm just showing you the tutorial, how I put it on, blah, blah, blah. Um, I hope you guys are excited to see it. Um, last night was, it's okay. I slept all right. I took the baby on a drive at like five in the morning. So I was like, please go back to sleep. And he did. But when I got home, he was awake. And I was like, oh my God. So there's that. So right now I'm just putting on my Olay moisturizer to really make sure my face is okay. Also, I forgot. I was going to do this today because I keep forgetting to do it. But I want to try and put primer under my eye, like under my eyes, to see if that'll help the foundation not be so creasy in my wrinkles. I don't know if it's going to help, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys my little collection, or my little, yeah, whatever, you guys got it, my little holder for my new stuff. So, I'm trying this different foundation today, my mom gave it to me. Actually, it worked really great, to be honest with you today, with the um, concealer that I did use, so I was very impressed. Um, the foundation itself is um, by Estee Lauder. Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup, color 2W1 Dawn. So here I'm using my makeup blender. I got it all wet and ready. Don't mind me, I'm eating chips. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. The Lay's Classic Chips, to be exact. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my face here with that foundation and just basically apply it. I don't want to put it right on the sponge because when you put it right on the sponge, any product, it, the sponge is going to absorb a lot of that. So if you want the, the foundation to be mostly on your face, put it on your face first. You know what I mean? So, um, in a couple seconds, it's going to look like I'm being tortured, and I promise I'm not. I'm just, like, trying to, like, focus and blend and, like, concentrate. But I promise that did not hurt me. I promise. Okay. And here I'm showing my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Up to 24-Hour Full Wear Full Coverage Concealer. The color is number 360 Cashmere. Oh my god, and I forgot to tell you guys, I'm putting a little bit less uh, coverage under my eyes, you can see, than I normally do. Because I'm wondering if it's because I'm putting too much concealer under my eyes. I don't know, I'm just so worried about my under eyes, like with the uh, wrinkles, like it just sucks. I hate it so much. Good job, baby. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to go in with this very flat sponge. And I'm going to basically fold it in half so I have a good, I sturdy uh, sponge, I guess you could say, or form. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try it with a sponge instead of putting it on with, uh, like, a brush. And I feel like that's been having, that's the biggest issue lately. And honestly, my makeup under my eyes did really good today. And I feel like 
I should start using the sponge to apply the setting powder because I feel like it really helped. Baby, be nice to the puppy. Hey, Kingston, you want to put my thing? And I'm back. Hey, <laughs> holy, that child stresses me out to no end. Me? What's new? Okay. <clears throat> so here I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with a Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator Pencil. I'm trying to find the color name. Hi, Dark Brown 610. So just using that here. Almost done with this right side. As you guys know... I am very, very picky when it comes to my eyebrows. Like, it takes me a good 20 freaking minutes for one eyebrow. It's so annoying. And I feel like I always draw them too thick. Like, that is so thick. Like, oh my god. Like, it's pretty, but it's thick. So now we're going to go to the next one. Hold on. Up. No, right now, baby. Hold on. Up. No, right now, Mama. Let's try to fix it. Hey. Okay, you guys, so I'm finishing my eyebrows here. Now, I have something very exciting to reveal. I have ordered a new package from Jeffree Star, and I got a new palette. Um, I am so excited to reveal this to you guys. I have been waiting to get this for a while. And I'm trying to build on my collection, if you can't tell. But I got the Pricked Palette by Jeffree Star. I have to say, I am absolutely in love. The colors are to die for. They are straight legend. Um, there was no fallout when I was putting on um, any, of the, um, any of the colors that I used. Uh, I even used a shimmer, or I guess you could call it a glitter one. And no fallout. It was amazing. Like, I'm telling you, bro. The packaging was immaculate. I love how he packages everything. He makes everything, like, worth it. You feel me? And, yeah, so that's pricked. There it is. It does come with that cute little handle. It's almost like a little suitcase. I love it. It's got this cute little lock in the front. It's very easy to open, but, yeah, Kingston here was very obsessed with it. He was like, oh, my God, let me have it. And I was like, I wish I could, but then I'll never see it again. <laughs> you guys know how it is with kiddos. So, yeah, got him to look at that for a little bit, and then I... I think I grabbed him something else to distract him. I can't remember what, but I was like, you can't have this child. Sorry. <laughs> so here I am now going to reveal to you the colors. Look how gorgeous. Ah! So beautiful. Seriously, I'm in love, you guys. Like, I'm in love. This is literally my fall palette, like, officially. I don't have an official fall palette. Like, the one that's closest to it is the James Charles, James Charles palette. But that's just because it has, like, every color in the plant. So, this is officially my fall palette. I am obsessed. I love the colors. I got a couple compliments. And it looks like I forgot something. Careful, and baby. I don't know what. I forgot what I did. Oh, I think it was the child. <laughs> so, here I'm going to show you what color I'm going to go in with first. It's going to be this dark red color. Let me... Sorry, I forgot. You guys I can't really you, see baby. it well on camera. Let me... I have it right here with me. Okay, so that red is called Slice Me Open. It's such a great color. I love you, son. What you doing? Ooh, I love you.
love you. Okay, so here what I'm doing is I've seen this look a lot and I, I've done it a couple cute. times. It's not one of my favorites, but it's fun. So basically, you put a darker eyeshadow, or really it can be anything, but it's usually a dark eyeshadow uh, kind of around the middle of your eye lid. And then you put concealer in the middle. And then after that, you're supposed to put like a nice uh, color, like a shimmer, or literally anything you want, but it's usually like a shimmer. Um, so today, what I did was I used an orange. And then I used an orange shimmer on top to make it really stand out. And it came out really beautiful, honestly. I was very happy. Very impressed. Um, this did take a bit of time. Um, the baby did need some more attention this morning. So that's why I'm saying I love you a lot. It's to him. I mean, I love you guys too, but, you know. <laughs> I'm talking to the baby. So, yeah, he kept me occupied this morning. Um, I just, I really had to video this and share it with you guys because I'm so stoked that I finally got this palette. It's so fucking beautiful. And I'm just, I'm glad I have it. You know what I mean? It's it's about time. And fall is literally right, literally right around the corner. Like, tomorrow is literally September 1st. Like, what? So, here's that orange color that I am going to go in. That color is called Papaya Latex, which is kind of sexy, I guess. Kind of cool. Papaya latex. It is a beautiful Baby. orange. There is another orange that was right next to it that was like more of a dark orange called Orange Fatale. I didn't feel like going that bright of an, like that intense of an orange, if that makes sense. Like the darker it is, I just feel like it's more intense, you know? So that's why I went with the lighter orange. And there's Kingston behind. Uh, I had to put him on my bed. He's playing with my makeup, everything, all my stuff. <laughs> He's having fun. So then what I did is I started to blend that orange onto where the red is. So that way it's not just red and it doesn't look awkward. You know what I mean? So it all kind of blends together. It looks beautiful. Yeah, so there's that. So I do do that to both sides. And then I do go on the outer edges and make sure that it does look straight, crisp. It does look good. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with that nude color. I'm going to go in with a different brush. I'm just going to go around the red and the orange, basically on the outsides to kind of really try and help blend that in so it's not so, like, uh, how do I say this? Just, like, kind of stale, like it's not just literally sitting there. Like, it looks like it's been blended perfectly, or at least almost perfectly. It looks good, you know? It's not like I just threw some color on and went, here, have a good day. You know, like, I actually put effort into it. You guys know me. When I do my makeup on me or anyone else, it's it has to be perfect. It has to be good. Like, there's no, oh, yeah, it's all right. No. We have to redo. Like, it needs to be like, damn. You know? So, anyway, here I am fixing the edges. And I'm going to start on my other eye. The same exact process. That's humiliating. You sure flipped away. Now, I love it, too. My, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> what was that? So here I'm just kind of looking at it one more time, just making sure I'm touching up any colors that need to be touched up, the shape. Um, yeah, just kind of some last finishing touches. I'm almost, I always love when I have mostly finished like my eye colors on top. Like when I have them on there, like the last thing I do is this. Like I just touch it up a little, make sure it does look really good, and then the rest is easy and fun. Oh, no. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with that uh, sparkle color that I was telling you guys about. That color is called Fashion Whore. <laughs> yes, it is literally called Fashion Whore. It is a beautiful glitter color. It's a beautiful light orange. Uh, it was really perfect for what I was trying to go for because I already had a light orange on. So then 
the light orange shimmer was literally Let me also tell you that a little bit of shimmer from any of Jeffree Star's palettes goes a long way. So as you can see, I barely had any on there, and it's already starting to go on really good. Sorry, it's getting shiny. It looks beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I got quite a few compliments on my makeup today, which was awesome. And even if I didn't, I know that it looks good. <laughs> it's like a sunset vibe. Look how beautiful it looks. Like, hello. Yeah. You can see those sparkles. I know you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And baby's totally just preoccupied by the TV. We were either watching Dalmatians 101 on Disney Plus or Girlfriends on Netflix. Can't remember. One of those. Some. Some going on. <laughs> so here I am going in with that dark color, Deadly Intentions. It is like a black sparkle, it looks like. Um, I am using that as like a base eyeliner form so that we, when I do put eyeliner on later, I'll have already the form that it needs to be in, if that makes sense. I'm more of a visual person with everything. So if I don't see like a plan laid out for something specific, I'm like, all right, no, 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 no. <laughs> Burrito. So that's what's going on right now. So now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and applying my mascara. Um, for today, I ended up using the Wet n Wild Bigger is Better. Big Popa Papa. I don't know. P-O-P-P-A. But yes, yeah, so that's what I used. And I saw this little trick online from another content person. What do you call it? for makeup and she said that she likes to um curl her eyelashes when they're dry which actually has been helping my eyelashes going on a little better today however they did get a little funky i had to fix them at work but um i like it so far honestly so yeah I do want to show you guys, though, like, I do have to keep blending out the creases in my wrinkles. I think it's just something I'm going to have to live with no matter what foundation I get. I'm always going to have to check on up, check up on it as I'm doing my makeup because it's going to crease. It's just, it's just, I don't even know if it's the foundation at this point. I think it's just my skin and the way that it interacts with makeup with my wrinkles. They're just like, no. And so I have to keep blending and blending and blending and wiping away until eventually it's just like kind of hard there. You feel me? Which sucks, but I guess it is what it is. But uh, yeah. So here I'm just doing the finishing touch-ups, just making sure there's no like fallout mascara or, you know, uh, there's nothing weird going on. And here, I'm obviously going in with that blush. I was going to go for, like, more of a bronzed look. But then I was like, you know what? I don't have time, and I'm too impatient. And blush will go better with the eye look that I chose for today anyway. So I did the dark reds. So that way it can kind of more match my eyes instead of, like, the more of, like, the, uh, like, tan colored ones on the other side. That's those are the ones that I'll use over my contour. You know what I mean? But if I'm doing just a blush look, I'll use the darker reds. So I'm using both of those combined on the cheeks for under the jaw and for on my hairline. I'm using the lighter red of both of them. Can't remember the name. And I know I have the palette somewhere. I just I literally don't have the energy to get up. Like I'm so tired. Today was good. I'm just ugh. So thankfully I have the day off tomorrow, so that'll be nice. But, uh, yeah, I think I got captivated by what was going on here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and now it's time for the infamous highlighter slash illuminator. I love, love me some highlight. Y'all know that. Ooh. Honestly, I went so quick this morning. I don't even remember half the stuff I did. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so that is basically my look for today. I did have lashes on, um, but like I said, I had to fix them a little bit. So other than that, um, I really loved my look today. The eyeshadow is really popping. It's really there. 
Like I said, I got a couple compliments today, so it's definitely banging. It's definitely there. It's definitely bringing it on. But look how beautiful. Look how pretty. You can't tell me that's not ready for fall. Bye.